Welcome to EasyMill, a powerful solid model machining software. We can program up to four axis machinery. I'm going to move our coordinate system to a convenient location. There are several locations to choose from. Now that I've positioned my coordinate system, I need to create my part boundaries for the tool to follow. On the left side, you can see this region can allow for tool over travel. So I'm going to check Detect Open Edges. Next, you select the faces you wish to have boundary curves. Now that I've created our boundaries, we're going to select our machining strategy. I'm going to start with the inner pockets and open the pocket wizard. Here are our list of preset values. They were set as default earlier. You can set as many defaults as you'd like, or you can change these values on the fly. Now that I've made my operation, we just need to select the pocket boundaries. Notice I'm using our new high-speed machining toolpath. This is great for when you start into the pocket and you approach corners. We give you a nice even chip load on the tool. Now, if your machine does not support high-end feed rates, you can still benefit from the extended tool life. Now I've compared the machining to the part model. This will eliminate mistakes. Notice that in the corner we've used a, tool, uh, a larger tool, so we need to remachine that region. We just create an uncut boundary curve, apply another pocket strategy with a smaller tool. Remachining. Let's compare the machining again. Next, I'm going to machine our stock up to our part boundary. I could use a face milling strategy and zigzag back and forth, or with a pocket strategy, I can use a face milling operation with high speed machining toolpath. Go to advance, cycle data, and check face milling. Add our part boundary. We'll simulate the tool. Now I'm starting with the pockets, a most, maybe a more practical style of machining would be to move the stock to the beginning of the operations. We'll cut that first. You can rotate the simulation. You can zoom in and out. You can slow the simulation down, you can pause the simulation, and you can single step through. Next, I'm going to focus on our holes. We have hole recognition. You can notice that these holes are linked together. They have the same diameter, the same depth, and the same start point. These holes are the same diameter as these holes, but notice our starting heights are different. 
That's why they're not connected. I'm going to double click our holes and it brings up a curved machining wizard. In the wizard, I'm going to choose tapped holes, half 13. We give you a spot drill, a drill, and a tap. You can turn those options on and off. Hit the update work step and it knows the start height and the depth for each tool. If I hit verify all, it gives us a machine time. I'm going to open our spreadsheet. The spreadsheet can be printed and we're going to adjust our tool numbers. You can adjust anything in the work in the spreadsheet and it will automatically update our work steps. To optimize our speeds and feeds, we'll open the operation, go to our tool tab. You can set your tool material and you can pick a part material from the library and hit calculate. We can select tools from a tool library. We have a very extensive library. You can make a library of your own. You can make new tools also and you can set these values, uh, preset them, tool numbers, RPM, feed rates, comp numbers. And when you select the tool, these fields will automatically update. Next, I'm going to apply these holes down here. I'm going to do it a little differently. I won't open the wizard. I'll just go in and select the hole. Go to our whole wizard, go to advance, you'll notice the diameter of the tool, hit the auto button and it gives us our start height and the overall depth. Now if I want the body of the drill to go to this depth, simply add the tool tip angle Hit auto again. You can pick from a variety of post processors for your machine. That is included with the purchase of the software. If you would like a personalized demonstration or a personalized video, please call 508-347-3222 or you can email us sales at easycam.com.